Hello guys and welcome. Today we've got the most riveting of subjects in Satisfactory. Yes, we're going to be talking about hotkeys. I know, I know, there's not really much uh, interesting about hotkeys, but I will say it's a great way to improve the way you play. There are many ways in which you can speed up the process of building, dismantling, using these, and so it is really important to talk about. And don't worry, I've got plenty of really cool videos coming up in the next week or two, which I think you're going to really enjoy. But if you do find this video helpful, please do drop the thumbs up. And obviously, if you want to see more, don't forget to subscribe. Let's get into it. The first thing that I do want to mention is we are going to have some of the best basics that we're going to be starting with first. And the other thing is that I am using pack utility for a creative mod. So let's go into it. The first thing, oh, I should say, the first thing that we should point out is that in the bottom right hand corner, we already have a list of various um, hotkeys that are available to us. We have the build menu, which is Q. You have the dismantle option, which we'll come back to shortly, which is F. You have the map with M, the scanner with V, whoops. You can hide whatever item you have in your hand by pressing H, that's the, the holder. So let's just do that now. You can turn your flashlight on by pressing B. You can open up the codex by pressing O, although I have never used the codex because it's far more interesting to use the N key, which is the quick search. And from this, we can do various things. We can grab buildables, for example, the constructor, we can also um, search for recipes, turbo fuel, for example. And another thing that's really important with the N key is you can use it as a calculator. So all you need to do is type in the particular um, equation and it will also work it out for you. Not bad for a simple search bar. We also have the X key, which will open up the customizer. We'll be talking more about that shortly and we also have the tab key which will open up our inventory and allow us to play around with everything that we've got in here with that in mind let's go to the build menu and grab ourselves some foundations now the first one that i want to talk about is actually down here you'll notice that we have a hot key bar if you didn't know this uh, this is going to be groundbreaking for you uh, with the well whilst we're hovering over a foundation we can press or any buildable for that matter we can use the number keys to place them in the hot bar and for example what i'm going to do is grab all of those nine and then we're also going to hold the alt key the left alt key and then use the mouse wheel to cycle up and down our hot bar hot key bar and for example here we can add maybe all of our lights on the second um hot bar and maybe on the third we have our construction stuff this is an easy way to organize your your build system another thing that you can do is if you grab your foundations um, i'm surprised at how many people don't know this but if you hold the left control key you can see how we are now um, snapping to a grid and that's because this is the global grid it doesn't matter where you are in the game if you hold down control and you build a foundation and then you do that in another biome, you can connect them and they will be on the same grid if you stick to its snapping points. So that is one for the books. On the subject of hotkeys, we should, and whilst we've got the foundations open, I'd like to also mention the E key. So the E key allows us to build, to flip between the various buildables that are associated with the current buildable that's selected for example you can hold down e and here we have the one meter foundation radial dial the two meter foundations and the four meter foundations so let's grab one also i should mention that you can just press e and that will cycle between them all we're going to place these down and 
Next, I want to talk about the build modes. So by pressing and holding down R, you'll notice that we can build uh, with a vertical build mode, a default build mode, or a zoop build mode. The default allows us to place a foundation down with one click. The vertical allows us to drag up to 10 foundations up and or down. And then we also have the zoop, which will allow us to do 10 in any of the horizontal directions. The next conversation to be had is going to be about the customizer. So by pressing X, uh, we can access the customizer. And from here, we can pick the items from the menu here um, to paint, I guess, or change materials, probably more accurate, of the buildables in front of us. However, we can also right click these and apply that particular material to the hotbar. Um, so if we look at the hotbar currently and we press this, notice how all of these have changed. You can also do this by adding these materials to the hotbar and then from there holding down left alt and then pressing say zero. Not well, of course it doesn't do it now. Hmm, it worked before. This could be a bug, I, I want to say, as it was working prior to update seven. Uh, but that's another thing that you can do. Let me know in the comments if you're having that problem uh, or not. Also, if you're finding that some of these hot, hot keys aren't working, check your key bindings in the options section. You may find that they haven't been selected here. One thing that I will mention when it comes to the buildables here, if we press this one, number six, you'll notice that we've now got a metal grid um, for this. If we now press E, this is, these are all the buildables once again of this piece of foundation. However, you can also see to the left and right that it says previous material and next material using the left mouse button or the right mouse button. This will allow us to change the materials on the go should we wish, rather than having to faff about with the hot bar. I also mentioned just now that you could add customizer um, materials to the hotbar. You can also do this with blueprints as well. Uh, for example, I will quickly build one and show you. So here you can see we have a blueprint. We're going to press zero and you can see we've now added it here. Just a little simple one. And you can obviously place that as many times as you want as well. I will also mention that we are going to be doing a little playthrough uh, in the upcoming weeks on blueprints, which I think you will enjoy. So do make sure to join us for that. Uh, we will be sharing some of those blueprints with you as well. While we're here, I should probably talk about this that we've just done as well. If you want to zoom in and zoom out, this can be done in photo mode. And to open up photo mode, you just need to press P and then to get rid of these lines, all you need to do is press the middle mouse wheel button. From here, we have the ability to change the depth of field, but it actually works pretty well as a zoom in and zoom out system if you're not sure what that is on the horizon over there. One thing that I get asked a lot is actually when it comes to our inventories, how do I move stuff around? And it's quite simple. There are various hotkeys that you can use here. It actually says down here, you can shift left mouse button to automatically equip items. Um, you can also do that to move items if we had a Let's just grab one, a container down. So now that we've got this placed, if I press left shift and left mouse button, we can move things immediately into the container without having to drag it over. You can also do the same by holding control and pressing the left mouse button. And that will allow you to drag all of one type into there, as you can see. 
Another thing that you can do with this is just right click. Now that's going to split the, uh, the, the stack in half immediately. But another thing that you can do by holding down right click is to create this ratio of the split. So if we want it to be 50-50, we can do it like this. Or if we want seven in one stack, three in the other, we can do that as well. And then we just press split. Earlier on, we spoke about the dismantle key, which is F. And with that, we can hold down the left mouse button to delete a given item. But with that, we can also delete multiple items by holding down the control key, the left control key whilst we're sel um, uh, selecting, hovering over those items. However, that can be quite problematic. Say we wanted to delete all of these stacks, but we didn't want to delete anything else. Unfortunately, without a lot of care, you're going to select multiple items. Well, you can get over that by making sure the first item that you select is the item you want to have deleted and then using the thumb mouse button. Now the thumb mouse button will only allow that one item to be selected, even if you're ho hovering over other items at the same time. Don't you just hate a bore individually selecting recipes on larger lines? Well, now you don't really need to worry about that because you can select the item that you want to be produced, also the under or over clock, then press Control C, or you can even do it down here. And then from here, you'll be able to paste that recipe into each of the constructors or buildables by pressing Control V, as you can see here. And you'll notice that this actually works also with signs as well. Control C, then Control V. And the newest addition, I do believe, is that this now works for our smart splitters as well. Let's just change that to adaptive control units. Press Control C, Control V on these. There you go. Speaking of copying and pasting, you can also use the middle mouse button to eye drop a selected material. So here we have the, the mouse wheel that we're using. All we need to do is point to what we want to be copied. We press the middle mouse button and that will allow us to place these um, buildables as we go along. With that out the way, the last two things that I want to cover, and I think that will cover everything, is if you hold down T, you can use emotes. And for example, if you're looking here and pointing at your friend, you can ping them not to go over to a certain area by holding down the left alt key and then pressing the left mouse button. Or you can hold down the alt key and then right click and this will allow us to, in real time, place a stamp on the map. So if we open up the map now, see that it's now been added. If you're ever wondering how I build circles, it's a simple trick. First, you need to hold down control and this will allow us to add tiny incremental changes to the foundation's placement. And then we turn the mouse wheel to change the positioning. Okay, so for example, we can do that. And then from here, we're going to hold down control and turn and you, you can see how we're getting those, those changes. Nice and easy. And we're just going to repeat that for a circle. It also means that we have much more freedom in our placement um, on actual foundations, should you wish to um, build offset. But now that I've imparted that bit of advice, I think I've covered every hotkey in the game, at least that I'm aware of. If I have missed anything, 
do let me know in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching. And of course, you can find us over on Twitch if you do want to join our live streams on Monday, Wednesday and Saturday at 6 p.m. CT. That's for December 2022 at least. Until next time, guys, thank you for watching and thank you as well to all of our amazing supporters on Patreon, most notably our Solar Clips patrons, James Irwin, Five Less Treble and Beowulf, as well as our Lunas, The Calamity, Ben, Star, Shoku, The MN Wolf and That Dude, A.W. And our Blood Moon of the Day, which today is the Salchin Husky. Until next time, as always... Ciao for now.